All right, everyone. Welcome back once again to the channel. Uh, so today I'm going to react to some scary content that I've reacted to before. It is called the backrooms. Okay. Now I've, re I've checked out some uh, some clips with the backrooms. You know, animated uh, stories. Uh, well, both were animated, but I've seen like I think two different clips of the backrooms, and I have loved the horror that 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 has. It has its own its own unique horror. You know, a very sort of a maze type of environment uh, like with no end even though the environment isn't scary uh, the loneliness the endlessness of it right uh, it definitely feels anxiety inducing you know it feels so scary it feels um, alone you know like you're never going to get out of there and so sometimes the quietness of a room is horrifying enough where you know you're sometimes like anxious for something to happen you know for you to wake up or just or just you know i don't know like exit that, that room somehow one way or another right but if nothing happens it's you know what i mean like when i look at these backroom videos i feel like that's the that's what i would feel if i was in there like it's just endless it's like a loop nothing is happening and it's like a, a you know it's it's forever you know what i mean like and then you know eventually you start seeing all of these things these monsters running around and that's even scarier obviously so um, I'm gonna check out some of that now this one here is called um, the backrooms found footage and it is by Kane pixels alright so if you guys want to check out this video yourselves you can click in that link in the description down below the video here if not you guys can watch me react to this and check this out now I do want to say I want to react to some good um, horror short films right with with you know I'm looking for some really good storytelling uh, I recently saw the Godzilla minus one film, <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you know, I've done like one review. I'm not gonna take long saying this, but I've, I've done one review with one movie, which was Cocaine Bear, and you guys should check that out. I don't know. Let me know <laughs> your thoughts on that video, but I feel like I don't have much um, knowledge on film where I can, you know, give a good proper review. So I would, I would give a review on Godzilla minus one, uh, but you know, since. I don't really have the experience on how to talk properly about a film, a full-length film. Uh, I'd rather just give you my short thoughts here in this video and just tell you it is very much worth watching, very much worth buying. Like Chris, uh, well not Chris, Jeremy John says, you know, it is worth buying on Blu-ray. In this case, Ultra HD 4K, you know what I'm saying? Like, get that good quality, that good, uh, that good audio. Um, yeah it, it is definitely worth all of that i've seen it twice already in theaters it's just the best film i've ever seen so far this year best film best film you guys should check that out um but yeah see like uh, um i lost my train of thought here uh oh yes so good storytelling is what i'm looking for right in in any short horror film you know the last couple ones i've seen they've all had great storytelling i think the last one i saw was um scary sarah i believe was um yeah that one didn't really have a story in it i think the one before that it was an animated one um i forgot what it's called death and the winemaker i believe that one has a, it had a really really good story so i always like to see videos or short horror films like that so that way i can you know give a good um uh, you know have have some good thoughts afterwards after seeing the uh, the video um, but on this one here you know obviously there's there's no story in this it's just back rooms it's just straight up horror you know uh yeah <laughs> so endless horror here um i really can't wait to see this i still love this anyway so you guys let's jump into this enough of me talking here and we'll see what we think afterwards all right uh and of course let's get scared got the headphones on sound camera rolling all right, and action. All right, cut, cut. That was good, that was good, guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle, and then we're done. Okay? All right, yeah, cool. cool. Like, how much further, like? Uh, a little more, right. a little more. That? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, he fell into the back rooms. Oh, really good start. Kane Parsons. Hello? Hello? <sighs> Look at that endless environment. Jesus. Hey, guys. Open rooms. What is this? Multiple hallways. I mean, that...
Definitely get a feeling of uh, claustrophobia here, you know? Huge feeling. Hello? Do you see that? Someone there? I think I saw that. I saw something move there. Oh my god. So quiet. There's no furniture, there's no windows. There's nothing, just walls, you know, that itself is. Man, this is giving me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> Can anybody like the, hear me? Like the character in Hello? Madagascar? I don't know what his name is. Damn it. Maurice, I think. I think Maurice is the other character. I forgot what his name is. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Look at that. What is that back there? You got three arrows? Three arrows. Okay, got an arrow there. See, that's a relief. You know, you're getting now okay. uh, some guidance. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> a window. What the hell? Eyes. So it's like they totally tricked them. Pulled them into thinking there was an exit. Oh! oh my god! Oh man! Oh, oh the s Jesus! I can st you can hear it in the distance. No freaking way, man. Oh my god, dude, keep going. Woo! Jesus. It's like right on him. Ooh. Ooh. It's right on him, dude. Jesus. Go down there. Go down. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, it's gonna jump down. It's good. Oh, it's coming around. <gasps> There's stairs! You better hide, man. Find somewhere. Oh, this is. This sucks. There's like no furniture to hide behind. Okay, wait a minute. I think I see something over there. It looks like a fridge. He's coming through the stairs, yo. Don't go up. Don't go up. <sighs> this is truly horrifying. Okay, a chair? I'm taking that chair with me. Carry it as a weapon. And smack- Oh, we got windows! And smack them with it. The Just throw it at, throw the chair at it. I don't know. <sighs> Jesus, that was. Oh God! Hide in the trash can. There's a rope. Oh, dude, I would hide in that trash can <laughs> for as long as I can. 
Well, I'm getting like serious claustrophobia, man. Oh my god, no. No, 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 it ends. What the fuck? What the fuck? This isn't real. This isn't real. This, this isn't real. Shoot, man, it may not be real to you, but that thing was definitely chasing after you. You're real to that thing. You know what I'm saying? That thing can see you. Oh, please be an exit. Ah. Oh. Please be an exit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously. Yo, man. My chest hurt. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, man. This is... This is making me so nervous. Oh, God. No, 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 what is that, a, a camera with legs? Looks like a film camera with legs or something. Yo, man. Oh my god, dude. Ah. Jesus! <laughs> no, dude! Yo, it got him! You... <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Yo, that thing was right behind him! Oh my god, yo! All right, you guys, there you have it. That was the back rooms found footage, okay? Dude, this was, I mean, I got nothing to say. There's, there was no story in here, but man, was was it scary? Was it, I mean, I think I've seen, oh, you know, several YouTubers react to this, but I have never seen the full video. I've never seen it myself, like the video by itself. So you guys, now that I checked this out the first time with headphones, I mean, I, that definitely scared the heebie-jeebies out of me. You know what I'm saying? Like the Madagascar character. <laughs> okay? It gave me the heebie-jeebies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, I, I, I was like clenching the whole time. I mean, my chest was getting tight because there was absolutely no way out of this place. And the environment wasn't even scary. It was just like... It, it, you know, I, I keep repeating this, but it was definitely anxiety inducing, you know, it was uh, a claustrophobic type of, of feel that I was getting going around these endless hallways, these repeating rooms as if it was like a loop, you know, um, but man, when I, I mean, you know, the appearance of this, I don't know, this monster thing that was chasing him, it was not even scary, its appearance, but its movement, some of these, uh, you know, very slight appearances that it made, very subtle appearances where it was like sort of, you know, um, when you get like this glimpse of the character of the first person, per, uh, you know, the first person view or, or point of view, you see it jump out of the hallway very fast or right at the beginning of the <clears throat> the whole like <clears throat> back rooms, you see this very slight figure pop out and in, you know, on, on one of these walls in the distance. Now, I'm sure maybe I, maybe I just saw that, but it looked like that. And so that made it very, very spooky, very unsettling, right? And so finally we get the full appearance of this thing. And it's not, again, it's not as, as horrifying to look at. 
but the sound design that did it the sound you know what i mean i mean that just did it i applaud this creator uh for everything they did this was so well done the sound design though that is truly horrifying just the sound. I mean, just that part where it was right behind him in that last clip before he exiting the back rooms. I feel like this thing has to get you in order for you to exit those back rooms. But I think you end up, I don't know, dead in the real world or something. You know, it looks like this. the camera was just still filming outside, but the person wasn't moving. You know? <sighs> you know, oh my god. You guys, I need to do some research on this. What inspired the back rooms? Where did this come from? I mean, it's, it's, so, it's something so simple. But it's very effective. Seeing a film, a full-length film with this type of idea in it, maybe there is one out there that I don't know about. If, you, if there is, throw it down in the comment section. I'm going to check this out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to check it out myself. But um, I definitely was scared in this video, you guys. Everything in this scared me, especially the appearance, the sound effects of this of this thing chasing after. And the fact that it was right behind him as he was running, you know, it just gives you... Um, it gives you that panic mode. Like well, as soon as he's running, you feel like there, he's not running fa fast enough. And this thing is right on his on his tail. You know what I mean? So uh, I was just man. I love to run. I love to sprint myself. So I would I'd be like going full speed. You know. But I have no idea how that would feel like if you are truly scared and in panic mode. You know. Uh, how fast you would actually run? You know, where you trip over from your body tensing up. I don't know how that would be, man, but I was just like hoping this guy would run so much faster because this thing was right behind him going through these, you know, going through the, through the hallways there. Um, as soon as he, I think, you know, yeah, obviously the first time we lost him in that drop and then eventually he comes back again. Yo, but this was, this is really well done. Very well done. I really enjoyed myself watching this and I can't wait to see more content related to this. Uh, you guys, let me know what you thought down below. Thank you so much for watching with me and I hope y'all have a good night. Yes, we are checking this video out during the night, okay? I'm challenging myself to check out more horror content in the nighttime because that's how brave we need to be in order to grow, in order to strengthen, <laughs> overcome this fear that we have. Nah, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. Very, very scared at the end. Oh my god. It's embarrassing, I think, at that point where how I screamed at the end. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna hear myself when I'm editing this video. Obviously, I already edited by the time you're watching this. So, chances are I probably was embarrassed. But you know what? I don't care. I did get scared, and that's what we're here for. So, thank you guys for watching this with me. I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Peace.